Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my empties for the month of January. I have quite a bit of combination of stuff, hair care, skincare, uh, makeup, so we're going to go ahead and get through it. Um, if you enjoy empties videos, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and let's just do it. Um, actually, let's go ahead and get started with makeup because, you know, that's kind of, that's always fun. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll start with makeup and then we'll move on to skincare and, you know, the rest of other stuff. Um, for makeup, the first empty that I do have is by MAC. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Um, I do really enjoy the stuff and I do have backups of it, so, you know. It's always gonna be around with for me. Uh, I do have two lip balm empties, believe it or not. It's been, the weather's been so weird. It's been so dry, I've had to moisturize quite a bit, uh, both my body and like my lips. Um, I, I'm done with two, one is a lip mask, actually. This is, yeah, lip mask by Bite Beauty, and this is Nivea, uh, a lip balm. Uh, I would not repurchase the Bite Beauty one. The Nivea one, I, okay, yeah, I, 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 I don't mind having that around. I reach for it quite often. But I have really been enjoying using lip oils, so. I don't think that I have either of those two on like my list to go out and repurchase. Uh, I finished up the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Mascara. Um, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. It's just an okay product for me. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going out and like, oh, I need that in my life, kind of thing. Uh, I finished up two lip glosses and um, I enjoyed really both of them. I would definitely repurchase the Tower 28 one. Um, this is just a mini and this is in the shade Chill. It was just a clear lip gloss. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I wouldn't mind having the full size of this one. And then the other one was by Pat McGrath and this is the Pale Fire Nectar um, lip gloss. I really enjoyed it. I really liked the formula of this one and the shade was really pretty too. Okay, next up is kind of like a, a makeup skin care item this is the hello fab uh by first a beauty yeah first a beauty this is the coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer i didn't use it just as a moisturizer just as a primer it was kind of like the two steps in one kind of thing um i'm really glad to be done with this guys it's pretty big i know it's just like but it's all like it's gone i had squeezed every little thing out of this guy um so i'm really happy to have this guy out of my uh stash out of my collection do i count it as a primer do i count it as a skincare moisturizer i don't know i kind of use it as two steps in one you know so there's that one um for hair care i didn't have too many hair products i just had a couple but let's go ahead and talk about these real quick oh wait i had one more makeup empty how could i forget okay um, and then the last makeup empty is by Makeup Forever and this is the step one uh, hydrating uh, primer. This guy I really did enjoy. Um, I wouldn't mind having a full size of this one in my collection. Now we're done with uh, makeup. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to hair care. Um, the first item I finished is by Nioxin and this is the cleanser, the shampoo cleanser. Um, mm, this is supposed to be for colored hair, lightening. It made my hair bleed. It didn't like preserve the color of my hair. I didn't find that it did anything special. It was just like a shampoo, you know? Um, I have by uh, Kendra. This is, uh, I guess it's Kendra Prep platinum this is the Lux one uh, leave-in all-in-one miracle spray um okay so it says a spray and when when i think about spray i would think like of a light mist not a cream but some sort of mist or you know like that kind of thing but no this was a cream um i i i ended up scooping everything out of the the bottle after it stopped you know spritzing out um, I enjoyed it as a leave-in moisturizer. I, I really did, but I did not like it. Um, like the first time I tried it, I tried it kind of like a, uh, before like blow drying my hair, kind of like a, uh, what are they called? Like priming oils almost. So, you know, protect my hair. I did not like it as that, but I did really enjoy it as a leave-in moisturizer. It was really nice that way. Um, the other hair care item is by Curse Taz, and this is uh, Resistance 
Mm, length carrying gel cream blow dry care for healthy looking length um, it's a leave-in too um, this was pretty nice actually I don't know I don't blow dry my hair too often to try so many different things so if I get something as samples or gifts with purchase I use them um, and you know this was a gift with purchase and I used it and I have one more of these I, I'm not like in the market to go out and buy something like this um, I do have hair color and ah, oh, I'm I hate it I absolutely hate it these are by L'Oreal and this is the excellence high color um, reds for dark hair only um, so I asked the girl at Sally I said okay I just want a red color it, I was way overdue for a hair color and I said I want red undertone I don't want my hair to turn out red I just wanted that I want it dark but when I'm in the sun to see the red basically um, so she recommended these and when I first mixed it it was like this color you know like this bright color I'm like what should I do should I use it should I not use it so I did a little like test run on one strand it was like all okay so I'm like okay we'll go ahead and do it I colored my hair and then when I washed it my darks and like my roots were bright red and the rest of my hair is just this color um, I have a ton of mascara in my hair today to cover up all the red spots um, yeah because I just colored it like January on Saturday so I can't color it again for at least two more weeks and I'm, I'm gonna do redo my roots with um, like you know something else but yeah you live and you learn my roots were bright red I looked funny more hair care products by OA. This is the detox shampoo. This I actually did really like. I enjoyed this one. And then the last item, the last hair product I have is by Rusk. And this is the Pure Mix Wild Honey Repairing Mask. Um, I don't know. Like I, I do always try to use a hair mask in my hair. Like um, after conditioner, I would put on a mask and then wash it off. I think this was okay. I don't know. My hair is really damaged. I, I'm, I'm definitely ready for a trim, but I'm too scared to go get a hair trim. So for now, we're just living with it. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to skincare. I do have uh, two bath bombs. This was by, uh, I think they're called Nectar, like the company's Nectar USA or something like that. Um, they're based out of uh, Las Vegas. So this was one of their bath bombs. Um, this was the Calm Your Spirit scent. It had like lav lavender flowers in it. Oh my gosh, it smelled amazing. I did really enjoy this one. And then the other bath bomb is by the Cram Shop and those are the My Melody. I hate those things. I mean, I like... I I like them for my son because they have the little toy in the middle, but they don't fizz. They don't have any sand. Definitely will not be buying any more of these. All right, a lot of skincare. So we're just gonna try and zoom right through it. By Lancome, this is the Energy de Vie, um, the Melt and Sleeping Mask. I really like this. This is something that I'm like, hmm, this is really nice. Uh, by Youth to the People, I finished two of these, the Kale Spinach Tea, Kale plus green tea, spinach vitamins, like cleansers. I finished two of them. Um, I did really enjoy them. They're not too harsh on my skin. So there's those two. Um, I finished up uh, by Dr. Jard. This is the Ceramidin Cream and Liquid. I like the liquid more than the cream. The cream was too thick. I would, um, if I if I got this as a sample, like as a sample, I would uh, use the uh, the cream uh, for a night moisturizer, not a day. But as you know, I'm on a, a no buy for skincare. I am not allowing myself to buy any more skincare this year in 2021. Uh, by Laneige. I had four of these and I used all four right, af right after each other. These are the Laneige water, what are they called? Water Bank Moisture Cream. I did really enjoy them. I do like products like this for daytime um, because it sits really well under my makeup. By Estee Lauder, the Advanced Night Repair um, Serum thing. I really enjoyed it. I was very pleasantly surprised by it. Um, by Kiehl's, this is the Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. Um, hmm, I don't know. Toners are kind of like, I don't know. What am I supposed to feel? Or what? what is it supposed to do to my skin? I have no idea. I just used it. 
I finished up in eye cream by Kiehl's and this is the Midnight Recovery Eye. This I actually really enjoyed. Um, I know this is Midnight Recovery but you can use it like both day and night. When I first started using it I was like can I only use this at night because I don't know it said midnight but no you can use it day and night and I really enjoyed it. Um, I finished up one face mask. This is by Sephora and this is the LJ face mask. Mm, cheap mask. It was I don't know. With these things, I'm like, I'm always so ready to just take them off and wash my face. Although it says you can leave it on. I hate it. I just, I just a mental thing is like, no, Rania, you have to wash your face. Um, a couple more uh, skincare items. By Skin Fix, the Redness Recovery Antioxidant Redness Treatment. I didn't use this as a redness treatment. I just used it as a really nice moisturizer nighttime really really enjoyed it i was very very happy that with this product um it looks so big but it's not really as deep as the container but i really liked it <sighs> this took way over a year to finish this is the tart maracuja oil um and this is not even the full size this is the half size this is 15 mil not 30. um i did really like this as in everything i liked it as part of my skincare i liked it i liked it on my um cuticles i liked it on the ends of my hair i just did not like the smell like it smells like it went bad but i remember that it smelled like this when i first bought it so i'm so glad to be done with this guy um i am working on a few i um a few oils but i don't think i'm gonna this one is not on my repurchase list i have ones that i love a lot more okay i do have two hand lotions uh, I'm telling you, it was it, the weather has been drying crazy. One is by Tony Moly, and this is the banana hand milk. Oh gosh, this smells so good, and I love the container. Um, it absorbed into my hands really nicely. You know, sometimes you use a hand cream and you just like, you know, you feel it greasy. It didn't do that. And then the other one is by Bath and Body Works, and this is the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Um, hand cream this smelled really good it's just smelled like the holidays oh it smells so good i really enjoyed this one as well um i finished up two hand sanitizers oh i use a lot more hand sanitizer than i put in my empties um i told you before that i do refill these and then at some point i just give up i'm like okay i have so many of them i don't need to refill the same one uh this was the winter scent again this is by bath and body works this smelled really amazing and it had like a um, sparkle in it really enjoyed it and then the other one is uh antibacterial hand spray it's also by bath and body works and this is the scent fresh lavender not fresh french Ooh, that smelled really good i really enjoyed this one i like to keep these in my car um i go into a grocery store and like if i don't have the little you know like the actual gel I'll just, as soon as i get back into the car i'll spray or spray my son's hands and i like having these around um as well as the gels uh i do have a daily concepts the multifunctional soap sponge uh this was supposed to be a mild but so it's like a sponge on the outside and soap in the inside i i did use it as a uh like in the shower i did not use it for my face i used it for my body it's actually for being for it being called mild um it was pretty exfoliating um i did enjoy it i just felt like it's too drying for my skin you know, I always complain like everything's too dry and it's too stripping. I don't know if I have like extra sensitive, like, you know, like not extra sensitive in the, you know, like I like soft things kind of thing. Could be that. Um, I do have another, or did I say another body lotion? But I didn't have any other body lotion, just this one. This is by Kiehl's and this is the Creme de Corp. Um, I did really like it. It was just a little thicker than I thought it would be. So it was really hard to get it out of this bottle, especially with how hard this bottle is. Considering the material that this is made out of, the product should be more liquidy and comes out easier. I know, little things, but hey, it is what it is. And by Nest Fragrance, this is Grapefruit and Verbena uh, Water Activated Foaming Cleansing Towelette. If you watch my Turn and Burn uh, 5.0 update, this was a pain to use. Um, you put water on it and lathers and it smells amazing and then it's soapy. 
and then you clean your body and then you're like what am i supposed to do with all these soaps how am i supposed to rinse it off so i have to get back and jump in the shower um you know it's kind of like this is i would never use this you know on the plane it says like you could use it tsa friendly um what carry on for no drama post workout what how 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 you need a shower for this and then the last two empties are perfume samples one is by elizabeth arden and this is the white tea i really like this one and then the other one is by narcissa rodriguez and this is pure musk and not my favorite this is it these are my empties for the month of january i don't know if i'm gonna be keeping track of value wise um i don't think so i think i might just keep track of my makeup empties i don't think i'm gonna keep track of everything else it is a lot of work to sit down and calculate the the prices especially because i use a lot of samples um let me know what you think in the comments below would you do you like knowing value wise how much i used up of everything or just is just the value of the makeup items is that enough to satisfy your curiosity um please subscribe if you're not already subscribed please give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one bye